I've, I've been in Silicon Valley, right? And the extent to which that's a bubble is really, really hard to fathom. So a lot of engineers who are in that bubble think that the whole world is biased against them and wants to, you know, push down tech, if you will, and the whole media is biased against the tech industry. It's basically in conspiracy theory territory. And mm, interesting. You know, that, yeah, that might be hard to believe, but that's where a lot of this, that's one of the places where a lot of this hype is coming from because of the sense that there is so much anti-tech bias. And in order to overcome that, you have to really hype up and sell these products to overcome the inertia that's out there, right? Like every technologist will tell you, oh, look at these lawyers. They're so threatened by AI taking their jobs. So they're all basically, you know, conspiring to pretend that AI is useless at legal tasks. Well, it, you know, we've done the research and it's mostly pretty much useless as of today. That might change in the future. Mm. And so and, and so you've got a bunch of people who are very smart technologically, but completely misunderstand the world, think that everybody is kind of out to get them and don't recognize that just because a tech is advancing quickly in a purely technological dimension doesn't mean that it's ready to be adopted in all of these kind of nuanced industries and, and uh, societal settings. And so when people don't adopt the tech, they are very confused about why this is happening and they conclude that it must be that there is some huge conspiracy going on. So that gives you a sense of the extent to which even experts can be, you know, or they can be experts in one dimension, but can be deeply biased and confused in another sense.